good evening, uh, good, uh, good, good, <laughs> good evening, uh, good afternoon, uh, good morning, doctors. Uh, this is Yong Seok Cho. Uh, I am really happy to uh, do such a live surgery in front of many dentists in all around the world. Okay. Uh, this is the event of uh, one year anniversary of Dental Bin uh, on my website. Uh, I'm really happy to do such an event. Uh, I'm with my step, uh, Ms. Che, uh, uh, she's single, and uh, Ms. Park, uh, she's returned single. I'm not single. Uh, but my soul is single in reality. If you're interested, okay, contact to Dental Bin. Uh, we are planning live surgery today, uh, so first I want to introduce my patient. You already uh, watched the uh, preview uh, through the online, and uh, uh, here is a 46 years old male patient who uh, missed uh, both uh, maxillary molars. And uh, uh, in panoramic radiography, next please. Next please, okay. Next. Uh, Right side looks uh, uh, limited bone height with a septum, and the left side, uh, end please. Next. Okay, similar situation. Uh, partial perpendicular single septum is in exist. And in reality, left uh, alveolar bone height is much less than uh, you can see in the panoramic radiography, it's much less. So, next. My plan is try, uh, I'll try. Crystal sinus bone augmentation using the casket on the right side. Maybe the premolar side looks narrowed rich. Uh, if necessary, I'll do a rich split. And depending on remaining bone height, I will decide the graft or no graft. And the left side, the bone height is too less, so I plan the lateral upper sinus bone augmentation. Uh, I will show you uh, crystal and lateral. Uh, sinus augmentation, which is doing simultaneously. First, uh, do crystal approach and then open lateral window. If necessary, at premolar site, uh, I will try to split. And this patient has uh, uh, torus on buccal side, so uh, if necessary, I need uh, to do alveoloplasty. Uh, change the change the video. Okay, uh, I'll start with the anesthesia. Yeah. Okay. Usually, we can easily, easily finish anesthesia on the maxilla uh, just with the infiltration or block anesthesia. Everything is easy to finish. So, uh, usually I spend two ampules for one side. Okay, I'll spend, uh, I'll spend uh, one of three to block uh, uh, anterior superior alveolar nerve, and then. One of three to block uh, posterior superior alveolar nerve. Okay, better to inject very slowly. And then I'll spend the remaining here. Okay, middle superior alveolar nerve. Okay. He is wearing a uh, temporal, den uh, temporal denture, uh, so maybe after this surgery, uh, he must continue to use that denture. So I'm planning some more implant in such a case. Uh, during the, my live surgery, if you have any question, please contact uh, Dental Bean or YouTube and uh, give me an, give me uh, uh, give me a question. Then my staff will monitor the questions, and then I can uh, give answer uh, during the surgery. Okay, I'm blocking uh, posterior uh, the, the great palatine nerve, and anterior. Okay, here anterior. Usually I can spend half of uh, second cartridge to block and infiltrate palatal side. Okay. Okay. I must be slow. Okay. 
Okay. Almost I spent a uh, half. Then uh, the remaining portion will be spent for uh, additional infiltration on buccal side. With this, uh, I can finish the third year completely. Uh, I expect uh, my operation time about one hour. Uh, thought all, all, all of this, I can maybe I can finish about one hour, and after my lecture. Uh, Dr. Kim Seung will present a short lecture about the, the temporary, temporary uh, restoration after the surgery. Okay. He will spend about 15 minutes and then uh, I can show you the result of this patient. Okay. I will take POP radiography and can show you the result. Okay. Turn right side. Last night, uh, I, I couldn't sleep well. Uh, I was so excited uh, on this surgery, so I couldn't sleep well. Uh, I tried, I experienced uh, more than uh, 200 live surgery uh, since past 10 years. Okay? Usually it was uh, during the Austin meeting and uh, uh, sometimes during my uh, live surgery in front of my trainee during the training course. So sometimes I invited a foreign dentist to Korea and I performed the live surgery. Uh, at, and uh, every time I feel that uh, there is time limitation and the space limitation. I'm really happy to have uh, such a chance uh, to show my live surgery uh, independent of space uh, and the time. So this is first event. Uh, I hope I can uh, meet you uh, more, more than uh, uh, more or two, two times per month. Uh, I'll prepare a uh, patient and I can announce you about the case uh, before the operation. Then everyone uh, who is interested in my life surgery can see uh, through the online. Okay, I'll try additional infiltration uh, later in this side. Okay, okay, education, please. Let's start. Turn left to side, please. Okay, I'll start incision. Usually, I like to use number 12 surgical blade uh, for uh, crystal incision. Okay, turn left side. Okay. Okay. How about? Good. Let's go. Tamuru Boseo, close your mouth, please. I'm checking. Good. Open, please. I Boseo. I'll make incision from the Buccal side of maxillary tuberosity and move slowly. Okay. The leech wheel is irregular, so I'll move very slowly. The advantage of using number 12 surgical blade is that uh, if you move uh, slow and touch the bone, just one stroke, you can finish incision. Because number 12 surgical blade makes point contact. Uh, maybe this side no need a vertical incision, so I'll open flat. Huh? This is a temporization, provisional, provisional restoration. Uh, when patients wear temporal denture, usually difficult to elevate flat because of the adhesion. So I must be careful not to tear flat. Mm. There's some of the region, so not so easy to elevate. Okay, I'm using uh, P24G uh, first elevator. This is my favorite uh, instrument. Uh -huh. mm, not easy. 
when you do surgery, uh, please use etiquette instrument. Okay. I recommend you use double Minnesota. This is the best. I have been using many other instruments before, but I found that this is the best. Double Minnesota. Okay. Me and my assistant is using Minnesota's. Okay. Minnesota retractor. This is very nice. And P24G is the best terrestrial elevator. Okay, now it is elevating. Uh, because of torus not so easy in this portion. Uh, well, usually I don't give a vertical incision, uh, but in this case, better to use a short vertical for good uh, surgical access. Okay, I made a short vertical at Primola site, and then uh, less exposed. They chance to uh, do rich split, so I will give but for incision and expose rich like this. Mm, okay, good. Uh, the rich looks not uh, fully healed. It passed more than four months. Okay, not bad. Okay, not bad. As you see, uh, the primal last site looks uh, narrowed. I'm, I'm, I have to do something here. And this side uh, looks uh, uh, too bulged. Uh, I'll try alveolar plastic first. Osenbine chisel. Chisel. Chisel millet. Osenbine chisel. No? Uh, not, not yet. Please. Osenbine chisel. Uh, first try, I'll try alveolar plastic first. Because it's so difficult to do that. Uh, hold on. Okay. 살짝 담으세요. 살짝. Close. Uh, because irregular uh, torus makes make trouble. I'll try alveolar plastic. This for step. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well. Uh -huh -huh. 살짝만 하자. 살짝 담으러 보실게요. 네. 음. 오케이. 어허. 오센 바인치 is very nice. We can uh, perform alveolar plastic very simply. 살짝 담으세요. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, no big problem performing uh, surgery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, enough, enough. Enough. First, I'll try crystal science for augmentation guide. Uh, I, I made a very simple surgical guide with Omnibec, like this. Uh, so I can mark entry point uh, exactly. Uh, I will use uh, a casket. I will use casket at number 6. Uh, this is 4, 5, and uh, number 6. Uh, so I'll mark entry point of number 6. Uh, then, uh, play check. Where is it? Can you? Can you see? Again. Okay. Here. Uh, open, please. Thanks, man. Okay, let me mark. Sometimes we can use a uh, pencil to mark. Uh -huh. Where is it? Was it here? Okay, here. Then, uh, because of bone height limitation, uh, I will use 2.2 uh, twist steel with a 3mm stopper. Okay, 3mm stopper here. Okay, then let's check. Maybe, maybe, maybe this is not passed. I will change the drill to uh, 2.8 uh, cast drill with a 4mm stopper. Okay. The drill speed is 800 RPM. Then I'm checking uh, flow with a depth gauge 
which is connected five millimeter stopper, okay? Uh, no pass, okay? It is not passed yet. I, ca I can feel solid. So uh, I will change to 3.3 cast drill with five millimeter stopper. I will enlarge and advance hole simultaneously. Let me check with the next stopper. It is six millimeter. Mm, it is still solid. This means that uh, bone height looks more than a four millimeter. I'll change to six millimeter stopper. Uh, okay, let me check. Now I can feel membrane. Like I can feel membrane. This means that through uh, six millimeter stopper, signs flow faster. So I can guess bone height was five millimeter. Then I will separate the membrane with a hydraulic lifting system. Okay. Seal hole tightly, then zoom out, please. Okay. I will inject 0.5 cc and withdraw. Inject one cc, withdraw. You can see the color change. This means that membrane is separating well. I'll spend the total saline. Okay, well done. I can feel very smooth feeling when I inject the saline. So through the first trial, uh, I expect a wide membrane separation. Well, uh, this case uh, is a borderline case. Uh, when patient has more than 5 mm bone height and narrow sinus I don't grab. Well, this case is wide sinus, uh, so uh, it's better to grab something. Uh, I'll prep second hole. 주세요. Surgical guide. I'll prep second hole. Okay. Let's mark entry point. Yeah. And then, let me check where is it. Here. Pencil, please. Better to mark with a pencil. I made this guide before flap elevation. So, uh, cannot see. Okay, well, I can see it. Then, number seven looks more bone height. Uh, I will start with a four or five millimeter stopper. Give me five millimeter. Yeah. Five millimeter stopper. 2.2. So it's still with a five millimeter stopper. And then let's start drilling. Uh, the phone is soft. So next is uh, uh, 2.2. Uh, let me check. Okay. Let me check. No pass. 2.2 twist cast drill, which is this one. And uh, give me six millimeter stopper. 2.2? No, no. I mean 2.8. Yeah. Now, next I will use 2.8 cast drill with a 6mm uh, stopper. Okay. Let me check with a 7mm stopper. Okay. Not yet. Bone is very soft. Uh, in no soft bone, the final drill to place 4.5 implant is 3.3. However, sometimes I even reduce size one more step. It means that it is 3.1 cast drill for 4.5 implant. And then this is a 7mm uh, stopper. Okay, check with 8mm stopper. Mm, bone height is sufficient. Because of a septum, I think, uh, at number 7, we can see septum. That's why uh, it looks much bone height. Okay, I advanced. Uh, with the 8mm stopper, and this is uh, 9mm. Mm, still bone exists, so change to uh, 9mm. I'm keeping 3.1 cast reel and change the stopper. Until you pass the floor, we can continue. Trial and error is an advantage of uh, casket, not pass. We can continue until you pass the floor. 10 millimeter stopper. Okay, maybe, maybe passed. I felt uh, uh, something passed. Then this is uh, 11, and it is passed. 
uh, because I injected the cell line sufficiently at the first trial, uh, the membrane at number seven al al already slightly separated. Let's try hydrolifting. Maybe the cell line will uh, pass through the anterior hole. Okay, like this. Okay, one more. Let me show you. Like this. Okay, it is well done. So, next I will try, um, I'll try rich splitting at premolar site. Hold on. Okay, I'll try rich splitting. Caskets은 본 그래프 툴만 빼고 다 빼버려. 빼고 정리해줘요. Caskets은 uh, I will try to split at uh, premolar site. Uh, I'm I'll, I will use uh, um, essay kit. Uh, this is essay kit. Uh, this is essay kit. Can you show you? Okay, this is essay kit, uh, which is specially designed to perform uh, rich splitting. This is a modified list splitting. So, turn left side. I will use Microsoft first. Okay, here. Uh, bone width looks around the 4 millimeter. So this is indication of list splitting. I'm doing, oh, it bounces. I have to change the direction of saw when it bounces. Okay. This is the middle, middle side of the saw. With this one, I'll try first uh, a corticotomy. Then I will use the next side, big side of the saw. Yeah. The speed is 1,500 RPM. It's high speed RPM. Okay. You must carefully protect uh, uh, soft tissue when you use micro saw. Okay, done. And uh, when it is near the natural tooth, uh, better to use small size of the uh, saw. Yeah, yeah. Near the near the tooth, uh, I will use very small size of the saw. Okay, done. Uh, when you do re split, there are several modifications. Classical re split, we add uh, to vertical osteotomy, but uh, there are many disadvantages doing uh, classical osteotomy. If you make vertical osteotomy here, you must open flap widely, and during the splitting, chance of buccal plate fracture. And one more thing is that we can easily, uh, we can, we can, we cannot easily get uh, prime stability. That's why. Uh, Dr. Sir suggested modified list splitting. He said, uh, do not make particular osteotomy and uh, do not split. But one disadvantage is that uh, just using SA kit, we cannot uh, split the reach exactly. So uh, my favorite is combination. Okay, using SA kit, I tried the uh, corticotomy and I will combine classical chisel to split reach. Although it is slightly inconvenient, uh, I can I can really separate reach, okay? On the gentle melting, so I can split reach. The principle of using chisel is do not shake buckle uh, ringually. Just uh, insert and move medio distally. Then, uh, by the thickness of chisel, you can separate rich. Uh, it's dense bone, like this. Okay, gradually on the gentle hammering, try to split rich. This patient is relatively dense bone. And this is 2.0 uh, split chisel. I will use this one to split reach. Okay, then remove first. Next uh, here. Uh, very dense one. Okay. 
Okay. If you use a uh, uh, drill without such a chiseling, during the drilling, bone width will be lost. That's why I'm using and combine a chisel, although this is slightly inconvenient. Okay. Now I made some space between Bacal and Palatal plate. I made some space. In this situation, I can insert the drill without loss of bone width. Okay, let's try. Surgical guide. Guide drill. Guide drill. Uh, maybe 1.8. I will place 10 mm implant, uh, so insert okay, here. I will prep hole with uh, 1.8, uh, 1.8 uh, twist drill. Uh, it is levers. Okay, I know. Okay, good. Here, second hole. Okay, you move. Then uh, I will insert 1.8 twist drill without loss of buccal, uh, without loss of bone width. Okay, like this. Is that? Here? 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 Looks the position is, is that correct? I think the position of this one looks to be slight backward. It should be more interior. I'll change later. Okay, then I will use a set drill. Set drill, 50, 50 RPM. Down is oil, 3 단계, 2 단계. Okay, I will expand the ridge with the set drill. This is set drill. Okay, with the forward. Then backward. Uh, uh, wait a moment. Okay. Then backward, forward, forward. Uh, even I use surgical guide, sometimes uh, there's some tolerance in surgical guide, so uh, the position is not exact sometimes. Forward, then I'll change to next uh, uh, set rail. Yeah. Uh, bone is dense. Okay. Uh, better to use some water because it looks too uh, dense bone. And forward. Backward. Then I will use last set drill. Last set drill. Uh, because I combined the uh, uh, chisel, uh, we can see the uh, no width loss uh, and nice uh, buckle plate separation. Okay, one more. Uh, because the set drill is not synchronized with the implant, uh, I must use final drill. Okay, so tape kit. It's a chugo tape kit. Tape kit. Here I'm using. Uh, drill to finish preparation of premolar site. Okay. Now I prep the hole, every hole. The position of this one looks slightly backward, so I will move the 
position slide anteriorly using side cut drill here slightly. Okay, no problem. And f point f four point zero, I'll finish the preparation. Okay, done. Then I will graft some material into the sinus. Because patient has just five mm in the bone height and uh, wide sinus. So okay, go up. Okay. Here is very nice uh, bone grafting tool. Okay. We can simply engage this one. Hold on. Mm. Then uh, on the right side, I will use uh, allogenic graft material, uh, freeze dried uh, bone allogenic graft material, cell line. Okay. Very simply, you can uh, graft bone into the sinus. Uh, this is a very convenient tool. Okay. I'll spend uh, uh, 0.5 cc of graft material into the sinus. Uh, uh, in the past, uh, uh, we emphasized the uh, bone graft material. Not now. Uh, it is not essential part. Uh, just uh, uh, for mechanical support of membrane, it is necessary. In these days, no bone graft technique is very popular. Uh, in narrow sinus, uh, even without graft material, we can easily make bone. However, in such a wide sinus, uh, uh, to support membrane, we need uh, some grafting like this. Okay, looks good. Enough. Then let's uh, place implant. Mm. Let's place implant. Uh, I will place uh, uh, four implant. Four by ten. Four by ten at premolar site. Okay, when you place implant, keep in mind the uh, position and the pass. Okay, it should be sent over final restoration. And the next, uh, usually we cannot get a strong primary stability after the rich splitting. Okay, 10 Newton, 15 Newton centimeter, not bad, 4.5. And I place uh, 4.5 implant at molar site. Okay, close. 다음으로 보십시오. I'm checking occlusion. Uh, not bad. I was there. Then let's place one more at molar site. How about how about talk? Ten. Eleven. 다음으로 보십시오. Close mouse. Okay, good. One more. Ah, 보십시오. Last implant. Ah, 크게 보시고 좋아요. Good. 다음으로 보십시오. Okay, not bad. Uh, well, uh, they're minor. It's minor. Uh, open, please. Uh, well, I think the position uh, of a second premolar looks not. The idea slightly too near, uh, very slightly. I'll change. I'll change. Even I uh, use the surgical guide, but during the uh, preparation, uh, there's some migration of hole. Then it happened. So I will change uh, position slight distally with the burr. Okay. It's very simple. So simply prep all again. Then let's place again. Just here. Okay. Yeah, four by ten implant. Well, even I change the position, I don't worry about the implant stability. If it became weak. Uh, just a mess, just a mess, no problem. Well, slight, okay, no, no problem. Close, please, 다음으로 보세요. Okay, good. Then let's remove the mount, 아이고 싶으시오. 
then I'll control the apps carefully. Yeah, fixed driver. And basically, it's better to place implant the minimum 3 mm deep from the gingival top, favorably 4 mm. So, second place. Okay. Uh, the stability is not so strong, about 10 newton centimeter at first premolar and second premolar, uh, weak 5 newton centimeter. It is not strong. But don't worry, if you submerge the implant, it, it will become solid just two to three months later. This patient planned uh, uh, submerging implant, so I don't worry about implant stability. Just ca carefully control depth of implant. Position, pass, and the depth is more important than primary stability. Okay. Control depth sufficiently. Do not place implant shallow. Okay. Minimum 3 mm, favorably more than 4 mm deep from the soft tissue. Okay. Okay, let me check the ISQ value. Mm -hmm. Okay, please. Let me check. I spell with I, uh, OSTAR device. Fifty-five a week. Sixty-seven. That's not not bad. However, it is not strong. And the second implant is not so strong also, maybe weak. 51, 55 should be submerged. How about number 6? Fifty-seven. Insertion torque is about uh, 15 newton centimeter, but because of less bone height, it looks weak. Second implant, uh, 20 newton centimeter. Please record. 70. 70, good. Second implant, molar implant looks good. Then let's connect to Kappa okay. Look at my assistant. She is uh, support my hand drive not to drop. Okay. And uh, mola. Okay. If you any if you have any question, please give question through dental bin or uh, YouTube. Uh, no, no connected. No connection. What happens? More, more. Okay, one more. Uh, Nadia, Nadia. Okay, done, done, done. One more. My f usually I like to connect the healing abutment when it is uh, strong and the patient is not planned to wear uh, temporal denture. I like to connect uh, healing abutment, but that not in this case. That was clear. Hold lightly. Okay, let me check. Let me check condition. Irrigation. Even I tried this split, the buccal side looks uh, narrowed. Okay, show me. Uh, because of buccal concavity, because of buccal concavity, it looks uh, fenestration in here, uh, here, 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 vertical. Uh, it is, this is an unexpected situation, so I need a GBL in here. Membrane 준비해줘요. The graft. Here is the fenestrate wound. After implant insulation, better to do some bone graft in here. Show us 0.5 cc, the graft 0.5 gram. Okay, like this, uh, here is fenestration. Uh, I have to do some graft here. 
this is not so serious, but I will graft. Okay, learn the membrane bio cover. Joshimi, Joshimi. So yeah. In such a, a case, uh, we need a sandwich graft usually. Shows. I will use uh, allogenic graft material inside, uh, and then uh, to, to preserve the volume, I will use uh, allo, uh, genograft. Uh, the porcine bone at outside. Okay. Okay, let's release first. Membrane. Hold on. I release slightly. No need too much releasing. Him pesay, him pesigo. Relax, relax. I release buccal flap slightly. Okay. Very slightly, I release flap. Okay. Simply. It looks enough. Then, mm, membrane, membrane, uh, membrane looks very big. No need such a big membrane. I will cut. Okay, yeah. Let's apply membrane at buccal side. No need to cover palatal side, so I will just position membrane on the buccal side, okay, like this. Okay. Press a little bit. Close. Close. Good. Yeah, I will grab some material. First, I will uh, position uh, relatively good and legible material. Uh, here is an uh, autogenous bone from during the uh, alveoloplasty. And then this is allogenic graft material. Some amount of allogenic material I will spend. Then outside, uh, here is a genograft. Genograft. Uh, to keep the volume, I will try sandwich wrapped. Okay. Enough. It looks enough. Uh, too much. Okay. Membrane. Let's position membrane. Sutra? Speed? Okay, uh, this is uh, Okay, uh, from China, uh, one dentist m uh, asked me uh, what kind of speed I used during the cast drilling. Uh, usually I like to use 800 RPM. Uh, you can use slow speed RPM also, uh, less than 100 RPM, but I prefer, I prefer a high speed RPM. Uh, anything is fine. You can control uh, surgical machine less than 100 or uh, about 800 RPM. Anything is fine. Okay. Uh, if you focus on safety, uh, please reduce the speed. Uh, however, if you focus on uh, efficiency, can use 800 RPM. Uh, fixation is not mandatory in such a case. A membrane fixation, if necessary, I do uh, try. Try. Okay, let's try. Let's try to fix the membrane. Okay. Simply, I will fix membrane with the suture technique. 살짝만 해 보세요. Open please. Ah. Okay. With a uh, horizontal mattress suture, I can simply fix the membrane. 살짝 다무사에 close. Okay. Pass the base of this uh, buccal flap. Okay. 나왔나? Pass? The? No. 더 안쪽에. Mm. Here it is. I must be careful. And then pass to palatal side. 아, 해보세요. This is minor GBR. So simply, I'll try fixed membrane. 
okay, like this. The margin should be away from internal line. Then let's uh, uh, tight. Let's make knot. Yeah. Uh, now I'm using uh, Teflon. Teflon search material. Cut. 잘안 잘라져. C 이제 바꿔줘. Okay, no need uh, metal suit in such a case, uh, uh, crest. I'll try simple interrupted suit because I didn't position the membrane at crest. Okay, simply I will use interrupted suit. No more question. Is there any question? Mm. Yeah, from Korean dentist, uh, here some uh, question is, uh, when I do wrist split, uh, I didn't make the vertical osteotomy uh, at the anterior. Uh, he asked, uh, is there any experience buccal plate fracture? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Uh, in classical resplitting technique, we usually make uh, crystal osteotomy and two vertical osteotomy and then try chiseling. During that procedure, sometimes we experience uh, buccal plate fracture. To avoid this, uh, uh, I recommend long vertical osteotomy if you made the vertical osteotomy. Uh, however, uh, Dr. Sir suggested no vertical osteotomy to prevent such an accident. If you don't give a vertical osteotomy, uh, there's less chance of a buccal plate fracture. However, this advantage is that uh, we cannot uh, separate reach effectively. There's less uh, width gain. So uh, if you focus on uh, safety of a buccal plate uh, and the stability of the implant, uh, we can omit vertical osteotomy. Uh, and okay, much. Uh, but if you focus on the rich gaining, width gaining, we can do classical splitting, or follow my uh, method. I performed uh, modified rich splitting. Uh, uh, I named this one com combina com combination uh, splitting. S uh, I followed uh, just a uh, uh, crystal osteotomy without vertical osteotomy, but I used the chisel to enlarge the uh, bone width. So there's no perfect uh, method, okay, uh, comfortable and effective way. Okay, every technique has advantage and disadvantage. So depending on the situation, you can use the uh, most effective way. I focused on uh, widening, reach, and even I focused on no fracturing. That's why I combined the technique. Okay, yeah. I'll continue the search. At crest, uh, usually I like to use uh, cross mattress search to speed up. To speed up, I prefer this cross mattress search. The advantage of uh, this such material is that it is clean, easy to make knot, and uh, less pricking. Patient feel comfortable during the maintenance. Uh, but uh, this advantage is that sometimes uh, uh, difficult to control. Uh, if you have a, a poor needle holder, it pass easily, it slip easily, and uh, one more disadvantage is cost. It is expensive. But to make patient comfortable, better to use such a good uh, material. Mm -hmm. One. Okay, no problem. No problem. Yeah. During the splitting, okay, uh, one Chinese dentist made made a question: How deep I 
how deep should I insert the chisel during the splitting? Uh, usually, it is similar as uh, implant length planned. Uh, however, it is not important. Just focus on not to fracture buccal flight uh, and uh, uh, enlarge whole uh, some amount. That, that is key. Usually, uh, no, always I have to use a final drill. Final depth with, with will be controlled by drill, not by chisel. So, no need to exact uh, depth control during chiseling. Just focus on separate reach. Okay? And final depth will be controlled by drill, okay? not by chisel. Okay? I think it's enough. One more here. For sure, here I'll make one more. Sabaje, hold on. Mm -hmm. Too short. Possible. Okay. Let's finish right side. Irrigation. Okay, it goes down like this. Anesthesia, machi, machi. I'll add uh, more anesthesia on the left side. Okay. Okay, left side, uh, uh, bone height was very poor in CT view, so I'm planning lateral approach signs bone augmentation. Okay, okay let's start. Blade, backwards. Change. I'll change the blade. You can do it yourself with this. Cast it in I'll make incision. When it is a lateral approach, I'll make posterior vertical lateral, crestal, and anterior vertical incision. So, close, close, please. Okay, here. I can see the last tooth. I was here. Here, posterior vertical lateral. And move crest. Oh, it's very thick soft tissue. Okay. Uh, it's irregular bone. Okay. And anterior vertical here. I like to make incision here. This is the line angle. Some dentists like to make incision here. I prefer here. And then expose bone with a fine uh, perosteal elevator, P24G uh, perosteal elevator. Okay. Well, uh, healing is not perfect here. Mm. Uh, it's very thick soft tissue, as you see. The crystal bone is not healed yet. So it looks like this. It's irregular. Tamurubosayo, close. I'll expose lateral wall like this. Enough. And the left prep elevate the palatal side. I was pure. Open, please. Mm. Oh, it's very thick soft tissue here. Uh, because of periodontal disease, uh, he lost the teeth. Uh, healing is very poor at that situation. So we can see vertical bone loss like this. Okay, here. Mm, Primola looks uh, slightly narrow and uh, palatal bone loss mm, like this. Uh, okay, surgical guide. Um, this is lateral indication, but uh, in this case, I like to combine crestal and lateral. First, I will use casket to separate membrane. So maybe this is better. 
number six. Four, five, and the number six here. I will use casket at number six. Mm, just there. Uh, bone height was very poor. Two millimeter, three millimeter. Okay, I'll use three, three millimeter stopper at that site. Uh, where is it? This one. Eh. Remove, please. Uh, difficult to check the real position. Maybe here. Eh? Oh, very poor bone. Check. Depth gauge. Four millimeter stopper. Uh, no pass yet. Then I will use uh, 2.8 uh, cast drill with the 4 millimeter stopper. It is 800 RPM. I like high speed RPM. Okay. And then let's check with a 5 millimeter stopper. It passed. It passed already. Let's uh, uh, separate membrane. A separate membrane. I will spend a uh, much amount of cell line to separate membrane. 오른쪽 보세요. Let's seal. Uh, difficult to see. Okay, and then inject cell line point. 아프세요? Hmm, patient feels discomfort. Baby, uh, I need an anesthesia. Uh, but this is good news. Uh, patient feels discomfort because membrane is separating. Okay. Inject uh, just slightly. 나볼까? 좀 씁니다 이반이. Okay, 됐어요. 다시 해봅시다. I'll try again. 조금 느낌 이상할 수 있습니다. Uh, patient may feel some discomfort during the uh, hydro lifting. 좀 불편할 수 있습니다. Uh, sealed, okay, and then inject 0.5 cc, uh, no sealing. Uh, here, here, and sealed. Okay, it works. So. Uh, I will separate membrane widely. Okay, well done. Okay, uh, I think uh, it's well done. Membrane separated well through hydrolytic. Let's open lateral window. Uh, first, I will design bone uh, window. Patient has septum and uh, okay. I will draw sinus. Uh, I'm watching panoramic radiography and uh, here is the sinus. Here is sinus okay. and posterior here. Then my window must be moved upward like this. Okay. And septum exists uh, in here, 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 here. So, not so easy. I will make window here, just uh, slightly over the, over the uh, floor, and like this. Okay, I will make wi window like this. because of less uh, uh, incision, difficult to retract flat. 거기 숙여 보세요. 담으시고. 턱 아래쪽으로 숙여 보십시오. 네. Let's go on the window. 살짝 담으러 계십시오. Hold on. Let's go on the window. Okay. Uh, I'm using a small size round bar. My favorite size is number two size round bar. But this is too small or too beginner. I recommend you use number four or number six size around the bar. Mm. Cannot retract flap well in this patient. 
in the looks of slight to some of the septum let's remove the window okay like this I like to remove window uh, septum is there here well, I expect the septum here but the position is like this tally as a result this tall hole looks not well exposed. First, I'll separate anterior room. I must be care. Now, by mm -hmm, here, anterior. Generally, I start uh, this to buckle first, uh, but this case, because of septum, uh, uh, this window looks too small. Uh, in, it's very difficult to work in such a small window because of septum uh, cannot uh, access like that better to enlarge window me. I'll enlarge window this early. Uh -huh. and then Let's remove one window. Uh -huh. Okay, sometimes I can see why the membrane separation after first uh, trial, uh, hydrolipping, but not in this case. So this case is not effectively separated. Mm. Okay, let's separate carefully. Always touch bone and separate membrane. Okay, distal side already separated because of uh, patient feel discomfort. Watch it. I'll inject some solution at that side. It's very rare, uh, rare situation. Patient feel discomfort during the membrane separation. Salchak tamusaya, close. Circa feel is not good. Then let's separate the septum side. Be careful when you separate septum side. Yay, well done. Well done. How about anterior? Not bad. Uh, the premolar side looks very narrow, the ridge. So sinus is also narrow. Enough, enough, enough. And let's separate posterior slightly. Uh, the current trend is uh, uh, spend less bone material but separate membrane widely. This is the current trend. Okay, well done. Okay, membrane separated like this. Okay, then um, how about the premolar side? Mm, slight narrowed ridge. This is borderline case. We can simply place implant, but chance over. Uh, chance of two thin bone at the implant. So I will try. I try uh, splitting. To say, is it? I will repeat. Uh, the splitting. Okay. Yeah. Carefully use microsaw. Protect. Protect the tissue well, and then use micro saw. Okay. Ideally, the rich width must be minimum four millimeter. Ideally, if not, uh, after splitting, we need additional graft. Uh, in such a case, uh, we cannot perform classical rich split because of sinus. The vertical osteotomy will be very short. It will easily arise fracture.
Hold on. Uh, although slightly inconvenient, I will hit very carefully. 조금 불편합니다. Please try gentle melting to minimize discomfort. Uh, this patient has very dense bone at Primola, so it is slightly inconvenient. Patient feel maybe feel discomfort. Mm. Sometimes I give vertical osteotomy even when I use as a kit. And this is two point zero. Cannot, cannot do full depth insertion. Just focus on the enlargement of coronal uh, rich area. Uh, too dense. Too dense. Sometimes make vertical osteotomy will be helpful, but in this case, uh, because of length, uh, short length of vertical height, uh, chance of vertical plate fracture. So I want, I don't like to perform vertical osteotomy. Okay, I will make about two millimeter width. Okay, not bad. Surgical guide. I will use uh, surgical guide to mark entry point. Chunobek. Here, here is uh, number four and number five. Uh, here, there we go. Uh, here is number four. Number five here. Four. Five here. Okay. And I will use set drills. Speed. Yeah. Hmm. Let's use set drill. I'll omit water. Forward, forward, and forward action. Okay, I'm using set drills. Backward. Next is uh, forward. Okay. When you uh, do surgery, always keep in mind the implant position and pass. This is the most important point uh, for good restoration. Okay. Regardless of uh, type of surgery, your implant must be well positioned. Okay. Forward and backward. I will use the last set drill. If you feel it is too dense, uh, better to use some water. Oh no. Forward. No water? Okay. And backward. Oh, didn't it? it works. Forward. Here. Backward. Looks close. Do you see? I'll prep hole with a tape drill. Uh, when it is left side, better to use long drill. Ten millimeter. You can go and uh, here. Okay, uh, here. I'll use extension. I use extension. Extension and then I'm keeping pass well. 
like this. Uh, c consider root axis uh, and then try to keep pass well. Should be slight distally. Side cut drill. Yeah, I can't tell you either. This is uh, here, should be here. Okay. Here. How about this one and this one? I'm trying to keep good pass, good position here. Six uh, and the five should be here. I think the previous uh, uh, site looks not ideal. I'll move. I'll move the position four and five here. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Then the three point five, F three point five. And the four point zero, please. Okay, let's grab it. Let's grab it. Bone. I'll grab the bone into the sinus. Here we prepare the material. Yeah, here. Uh, this syringe type grab material is convenient to use. Uh, I didn't prep the last hole, sorry. I didn't prep the last hole. I'll prep last hole. Surgical guide. Okay. Uh, where is it? Ah, I was here. Here. Okay, passed. I will pass uh, uh, last hole with drill here. How much is the phone? Uh, Dr. Kim asked me to do uh, alveoloplasty in here. I have to do. I have to do that. After the preparation, I'll try. Oh, bone is very soft. Bone is very soft. Orange was here. Turn right side. Uh, too soft. Bone graft. Let's graft the material. Where is the mount? Long mount uh, here. Just say, uh, grab the material. Okay, now, by now, I'll hold it like this. Just hold on. Okay, then let's grab here and there. The wire, get it. It's your wire. Hold on. Let's have a jig. There go. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Hmm. I need one more instrument for bone graft. Hmm. Yes, yes. You like? You like to get? Okay. No need too much graft in these days. We just put some graft material, which can support membrane. Uh, I'm spend. I'm spending. Uh, how much is this? 0.5 gram? Okay. 0.5 cc of uh, uh, allergenic graft material and uh, about about 1 cc of, uh, no, no, about, uh, I spend rice right also, so it is al almost uh, 0.75 cc of graft materials. No need too much grafting. Okay, like this. Looks enough. Looks enough. Yeah. Where is one window here? Two gates. Two gates. There's one window. One window passed in, into the sinus. Okay. Uh, I inserted the window. Where is it? This one. This one. Okay. Then let's place implant first. Place implant. To say implant uh, four by ten. I'll place four implant in here also. Turn right side. I was here. Four by ten here. Talk. Very strong. Seventeen. Good. 
very strong uh, primary stability. And the second implant, same for by 10. Okay, position not bad. Damuro Bushpisha, close please. Okay, slight back, no problem. And one more for four, four point five by ten. Ah, mm. good. Talk. Ten. Twelve. Not bad. One more. 크게 벌려 보세요. 크게 한번 벌려 보세요. Okay. 10, 11, 21, 23, good. Okay, 살짝 담으러 보시, close please. Okay, not bad, as you see. As you see, it is not bad. Okay, let's uh, control depths of implants. Mount Chicago. No questions? Please check. Uh, one Korean dentist asked me, uh, sometimes after splitting, he experienced a bone resorption. I think it's because of too thin buccal bone left. Uh, that's why it happened. Uh, we recommend at least uh, one millimeter buccal bone thickness after implant installation to prevent that uh, problem. Uh, when it, is, it looks very thin, better to do bone graft. And uh, the more important thing is that many complications come from uh, poor indication. You must uh, do splitting when bone width looks uh, more, more than 4 mm. Less than uh, 4 mm, sometimes it happens uh, after splitting, looks too thin, too narrow, and it easily resolves. This pass looks not good. This is not good pass. I have to control this pass. I'll remove this one. And then turn, pass medially. Okay. Keep in mind that the pass of root must be tilted medially. Uh -huh, uh -huh. The canine look usually tilted distally, so I'm keeping in mind that the canine axis, but not easy to control this case. Let me check. Hold on. Yeah. Um, this one, second. Uh, even I tried splitting, uh, buccal bone thickness looks uh, not so wide uh, because it's too dense bone, difficult to control uh, splitting. Anyway, let me check, check condition. Uh, here's minor defect. Uh, Dr. Kim asked me to do uh, alveoloplasty uh, at number seven, number eight, so I'll try this. Osenbein chisel. What's my chisel? He asked me to reduce the, the maxillary velocity. Then I will try. Turn right side. Uh, I didn't expose the well. Uh, uh, let me check. I must expose uh, here. The soft tissue looks very thick. Maybe I have to reduce the soft tissue thickness in here. First, uh, uh, better to place the implant deep. Okay, place the implant deep and alveoloplasty and reduce soft tissue also. Okay, place the implant deep. Hold on. I will try alveoloplasty here. Ulimnida. Awesome bind change is useful in such a case. Mm. He has very thick soft tissue in here. Uh 
Uh -huh. In up? Why? It is soft tissue. It is soft tissue. Uh, okay, I have to place implant deeply. And then reduce soft tissue. Okay, done. Cover screw. Hold on. I ask you, I ask you. Uh, I omit. Let's check uh, implant stability. I found that the left implant looks stronger than uh, right side. Uh, let me check. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. I didn't connect it well. Sometimes misconnection uh, lead poor stability. Sixty-six, seventy-two. Okay, and one more. Sixty-one, seventy-one. Mm. It's moderate, moderate stability. Further. Fifty-seven because of less bone height. Sixty-eight. Buckering valley uh, because of bone thickness. I think uh, less size cube value you can get. Proximal looks better. Mm. Sixty-four. Sixty-four. Moderate. Okay, let's cover. Let's cover cover screws. On the left side, I can control by myself, no need assisting. Mm. One more. All uh, sight. I'm spotting a hand drive with my middle finger, so I can, uh, I can prevent uh, Instru instrument dropping like this, okay, like this. With the middle finger, I'm spotting hand drive, okay, like this. Okay, here, my middle finger spotting hand drive. Well, in uh, preoperative panoramic radiography, number six looks uh, uh, crystal bone loss. Uh, uh, it is minor uh, after implant installation, so. No need a uh, special GBR in such a case. Uh, instead, uh, this side looks uh, slightly narrow. Mm, slightly narrow, this side. I can simply reposition bone window. Okay, very simply reposition bone window. Okay. Close. Close, close. Come uh, here. I can simply reposition bone window. Where is this? Because uh, one more, one more window. Where is it? Here. This one? Okay, it was here. Mm. No problem. Such a gap will heal spontaneously. No call. And then uh, we had uh, some bone uh, from the maxillary tuberosity, so we can grab the heel or here, uh, which is better. Uh, uh, this, this is no problem. Uh, some bone, I need a minor bone. Bone. Young term you. I will grab here slightly because of less uh, uh, bone thickness. And I, I will grab the palatal side with autogenous bone. That is enough. No need more uh, bone graft in this side. No need GBR here. Uh, this is stable, relatively relative stable, so no need. Uh, I have to do soft tissue uh, reduction. To say, tissue per set. I'll try. Soft tissue reduction in here. Oh, not easy. 
아 이거 쎄 살짝만 잡아줘 여기 도와줘 도와줘 도와줘야 돼 잡아주고 잡아주고 I will reduce palatal tissue thickness slightly 블레이드 바꿔야 되겠다 15분 블레이드 오케이 keep this one keep this one 본 따라놓고 이어 블레이드 Because of too thick soft tissue, I need reduction. <웃음> 자, max alt velocity. Uh, better to cut and switch late. 음, excision. I will try excisional. Here. And then thin, make thin. And palatal, thinning. Okay. Uh, better to perform reduction here. Awesome, by Shijo. Here, let to reduce the volume of maxillary velocity. Oh, this was. Uh -huh. This is bone, tissue, tissue, blade, and this is mixed with the bone and tissue. Okay, done. Then let's let's check it. Uh, I'll close here like this, uh, and the thin soft tissue. I have to grab the bone at their side. Uh, bone chip will be positioned at palatal side here. Yeah, no need membrane in such a situation. Minor bone graft, and after minor bone graft, I can cover it with the bone like this, very simply. Okay. It is stable, so no need. Okay, anterior. 잡아줘. 앞쪽. 이렇게 잡아주고. Release slightly. I release very slightly. 살짝 담으세요. Okay, and then. Let's position graft material and cover it with a membrane. 주세요. We need a minor graft. 담으세요, 담으세요. Uh, I didn't expect such a uh, situation at premolar site, uh, but it looks very thin. Even I tried the splitting, uh, it was not so effective because of a bone density. Because of bone density, it was not so successful. So I have to grab something here. And this is not critical. It's minor problem. I will cover it with the membrane. Slightly. No call. Release. And then let's stabilize this membrane. Switch. Nylon. Uh, I'll use nylon switch material on the left side. Any question? Ah, uh, hi, what's up? Yeah. Okay, from Hong Kong, one then asked me what kind of membrane I use. I'm using, and when I will. When uh, should I remove stitches? Well, uh, I'm using uh, collagen membrane. It's collagen membrane. Uh, it's common, common collagen membrane. It is not bio guide. It is uh, uh, bio cover from uh, one uh, Korean company. And 
uh, this switch which used to stabilize the membrane should be removed uh, about three weeks later. This one, this, this key switch will be removed three weeks later. And the other site, uh, I, you, I, I will remove stitch uh, about 10 days later. Ah, uh, okay, two coronal. Two coronal removed. Okay, position slide epically. Done. Okay, so my usual stitch out time is between one to two weeks, uh, but this stitch must be removed uh, uh, three weeks later. Okay, let's close. Uh, uh, from China, one uh, dentist asked me, uh, drawing uh, directly uh, on bone with a pencil is not harmful. Mm. <laughs> There's no report uh, about that. Maybe it's carbon, so maybe not so good for health, uh, but uh, I spent very small amount, uh, so uh, maybe. Uh, no uh, big event, big uh, effect on health. Uh, if you worry about that, uh, find the medical pencil, medical marker. Uh, and if you have no uh, medical marker, uh, you, you, you may remove a pencil line uh, before uh, close. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, I don't use pencil usually. Just in this case, this live case, uh, I, for showing, uh, I used the pencil. But for beginner, the pencil will be very useful to prevent uh, mispositioning. Uh, okay? uh, some dentists really like to use pencil, uh, but it's not my favorite. Okay. Yeah. Okay, during the surgery, I spent the two kinds of material. One is allogenic graft material. Uh, there are two types of basic allogenic graft material. One is uh, FDVA, mineralized bone. Uh, this is better. Uh, in the past, we used uh, DFDVA, demineralized bone matrix, uh, bone uh, allograft, but uh, it is unpredictable. I don't like DFDVA. FDVA is much better. The current trend is uh, use FDVA. This is very nice. Uh, the outcome is very good. However, uh, not so many countries it is allowed. Mm. Only Korea and some country we can use. In China, there are several local uh, allograft, but not so popular. Uh, if it is available, I recommend FDVA. And second one was, uh, mm, second one was porcine bone. Uh, genograft, uh, uh, I think uh, maybe many dentists believe that the best genograft is by us. By us, every country it is available, including China, uh, Japan, everywhere. Also in Korea, uh, no everyone says that this is good, this is the best, one of the best uh, genograft. However. Only one disadvantage is that the cost, it is expensive. So uh, everyone want to use uh, similar, uh, similar uh, material like BIOS. Uh, and uh, if, if it is cheaper than BIOS, it will be good. This is uh, uh, porcine bone, not, not bovine bone. BIOS is bovine bone. This is porcine bone. And one uh, Korean company introduced this one. It is available in Korea and Europe. And I heard that they are progress, progressing uh, uh, the entering into China. Soon, uh, in China, this will be available. Uh, compared to BIOS, it is cheap. And the effect, uh, well, in sinus graft, it is not critical. So it works. GBR case, uh, I have many uh, experience of this material. Uh, the result was good. So I believe this one, not bad, okay? 
In sinus, the kind of GERD material is not critical, but GBR case better to use good material. Okay, almost finishing. Uh, after finishing, uh, I will take uh, post op radiography, and during the uh, break, uh, Dr. Kim will present several some lecture. Please. Uh, Please keep the position and hear Dr. Kim's lecture. Then I will show you the result of this live surgery. Okay. Uh, during the window opening, I used the uh, uh, carbide burr, round burr, and uh, half speed. Uh, it is low speed uh, uh, handpiece, but the speed must be very high. Uh, better to use maximum speed uh, on your chair. Uh, I, sp I used uh, the 40,000 RPM in this case. Uh, it should be more than 20,000. 20, 20, it should be high speed RPM. If it is slow, we cannot control. So better to use uh, maximum speed. Okay, let's close. Oh, I over the five minutes. No need. Uh. Okay, uh, I spent uh, one hour and five minutes, uh, slightly delayed, uh, unexpected situation at Primula side, so uh, it happened. Well, everything finished. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me check. Here and here. Okay. Tamarubos, close, please. Okay. Now we can see sufficient body color space at uh, maximum velocity. Okay, thank you uh, for your uh, kind attention, and I will uh, give a uh, camera to Dr. Kim. Thank you very much. Wait and watch final uh, outcome also. Okay, uh, hello doctors. Uh, this is M. Kim uh, from Dental Bean. Uh, as you saw, uh, Dr. Jo uh, just finished his work uh, very nice. Uh, I'd like to give uh, my big hand to Dr. Zhou for placing implant combined with uh, various uh, surgeries in such a short time. And I'm very proud of him and even respect him. And here, uh, let me ask you a question. Uh, from the pro uh, prostate point of view, what is your biggest concern right after placing implant? I think without second thought, uh, you will answer uh, that is about the temporary restoration uh, during a healing period for recovering functional and aesthetic uh, aspect. So at this time, uh, I'd like to talk about the kinds of temporary restoration. Uh, as you can see in this slide, uh, you can deliver a fixed type uh, temporary restoration, uh, especially when the initial step of the implant is very good. And then if a couple of clinical situations are favorable, you can make the fixed type temporary restoration, which is called an immediate loading. As you know, for a successful immediate loading, it's very important to get the good initial stability. They are, uh, they are saying the initial torque should be more than 40 newton centimeters. And the RFP value uh, should be more than uh, 70. I think it is more reliable in a clinic. And then uh, you should think about the kinds of uh, temporary restoration. As you can see, there can be a screw retain type or cement retain type. Sometimes you can make combustion type using some kind of uh, abutment. Most of articles or books out there are saying that the implant should be splinted together as rigid as possible. And that at least three implants should be splinted together for a good immediate loading. Uh, but uh, this, is this is not absolute thing. But personally, I, I'd like to keep these recommendations in my clinic. And then in a conventional way, you can make the immediate temporary, uh, temporary restoration 
right after placing implant. After connecting this kind of ready-made abutment or temporary abutment, uh, they can be a semi type or screw tin type. But as you know, uh, with the mixing the acrylic resin in a clinic, it, it is not convenient. It's so time consuming. So nowadays, I don't make the temporary restoration in this manner. But if you, if you really want to do that, I want to recommend, please make the cement tin tie, like this case. And instead of it, I often make uh, this kind of temporary restoration. Uh, as you can see in this slide, right after place implant, you can just connect the impression coping to the fixture. And then take the fixture impression. And then after making a master motor, you can make the cement tin type using ready-made or customized abutment. Sometimes you can make screw tin type using temporary abutment in the left side. And then I deliver this temporary restoration after about two or three, day, three days later. But as you know, uh, personally, I would often make a screw tin tie for the rigid connection between implant for a good immediate loading. Uh, and then uh, there is no cement related problem in this screw tin type restoration. So I often make the screw tin type using the temporary restoration. Uh, at this moment, you can select the hex type or non hex type temporary element. When the path of implant is parallel to one another, uh, you can select all uh, hex type temporary element. But when the path of implant is not paralleling to each other, uh, you should select all non x type uh, temporary abutment, considering the path problem with the fixtures. And here is another processing method. If you will place implant with the aid of this kind of surgical stand or surgical guide, for example, OSTEM 1 guide, you can make a surgical guide and temporary shell or crown at the same time. Of course, as you can see, you can place implant with the aid of this surgical guide at the exact position. And after that, some kind of element is connected to the fixture and then you can make, you can attach this free propagated restoration, temporary restoration uh, to the abutment in your clinic. And then here, three kinds of temporary restoration are available. Uh, sometimes you can make the screw tin type using all non x type temporary elements. And then sometimes you can make a cement tin type or compression type using hexed or non x type ready made or customized elements. Like this, there are three kinds of temporary restoration available. Uh, please take a look at this case. Uh, this is an initial panoramic view, and we are planning to place a six bone level implant, bone, uh, both a lower posterior area using OSTEM 1 guide. So, first, the CBCT data was taken, uh, CBC, CBCT was taken, and then we can take just conventional impression. And this conventional impression body is sent to, to the uh, planning center. At playing center, they will make the master motor, uh, diagnostic motor. And uh, sometimes you can take a scan the oral condition uh, by means of intraoral scanner. And in this case, I took a conventional impression. So, uh, center, planning center uh, fabricated the diagnostic motor. And then this diagnostic motor was scanned uh, with a model scanner or desktop scanner. And this scan image and CBCT data are merging together through the software like 3Shape and ExoCAD. And then you discuss the treatment planning uh, with the center and it is confirmed on this online like Sorry. Position of implant 
and uh, medjudistally and bucolingually, and depth of implant. You can discuss about it with the center. And this confirmed data is sent to the software to design the one guide, guide, surgical guide, or temporary restoration. After confirmation, uh, the surgical guide is designed like this and then fabricated with 3D printer. And then the temporary illustration is designed and also fabricated uh, using the PMML resin. And uh, they can be, uh, uh, you, can, uh, you can select the ready-made or customized element. And generally, in most cases, the provisional illustration, temporary illustration is the conversion type, as you can see in this slide. And then it is recommended to give a sufficient cement space for adjusting it easily in a clinical side. Okay, with the data of the surgical guide, the six bone level implant were placed. Right side and left side using OSTEM 1 guide. After that, as you can see in this video, I adjusted the temporary restoration after connecting the customized abutment to the fixtures by tightening the abutment screw. And then I tried in this restoration in place, but I found there is uh, some misfit. So I just dig out inside the temporary restoration. And then I find, and then I, and I, and then I could, and then I can uh, find the exact position. And then you can just wash it with mixed acrylic resin, and then adjust it, that's all. Like this, the position of implant or the direction of implant uh, is almost the same as we planned. We can adjust this prefabricated temporary restoration in a clinical side in this manner. It is not easy, it is not difficult, sorry. And then it is delivered. But sometimes, but sometimes, uh, the implant uh, cannot be placed at the exact position as we planned. Uh, for example, when the bone quality is very poor, like a maxilla, uh, at the terminal position, the direction implant uh, can be slipped out of its original direction. So when you're connecting the abutment to the fixture, and then you try the uh, prefabricated temporary restoration, it will not go into in its place. So it is very difficult to adjust it. For this reason, nowadays, many company is offering its users this kind of 3D printer. Using this uh, 3D printer, you can make the temporary restoration. First, just scan the overall condition, implant site, abutment connection state, and opposing dentition, and then occlusion state. And then this data is sent to the software to design the temporary restoration. And, the, and this designed temporary restoration is sent to the 3D printer. And then the temporary restoration is fabricated using liquid resin, like this. And uh, this temporary restoration is put inside the uh, right curing machine for a post setting. It will take about five minutes. And then it is attached on the final abutment. I think this kind of processing method is more reliable. So, if you have prepared this kind of software or 3D printer, you can make temporary restoration very easily. 
And this slide shows in one week after uh, delivering the probe demonstration. There was not so much of a critical problem, I think. But on the contrary, when the initial stability or primary stability of implants is very poor, we cannot deliver a fixed type temporary restoration. Instead of it, it's better to deliver the temporary denture, removal type restoration, which is called delayed loading. Please take a look at this case. As you can see, this parallel view, the remaining abla bone of imperial war of sinus was very thin. Even though uh, the bone level implants were placed combined with sinus bone graft, we can pre predict the bone quality is very poor. Also, the initial stability of implant uh, is very poor. At the moment, we can deliver the temporary denture. Of course, I asked this patient not to eat hard food uh, for a certain period, at least three weeks. And then I delivered the temporary denture. At this moment, it's very, very deep, uh, deep, sorry, it's very, very important to apply the tissue conditioner, such as soft liner, to protect the implant site or bone graft site. We know where is the weakest area? So it is good to apply, spread out the soft liner inside the denture base. And then most importantly, you should exchange this hardened soft liner with a new one every one or two weeks to protect the implant site and bone graft site. Without, without doing this, uh, some implant can be failed. So, I want to strongly command, please apply this soft liner. And then every one or two weeks, please exchange with a new one. And the implant site was, was uh, well healed. The sinus bone graft was well done, I think. Like this, uh, when the initial stability of, of implant is very poor, and then the bone quality is very poor, it's good to apply the temporary denture after applying the soft liner. And in, this, uh, to, uh, in today's case, I will deliver the temporary denture after applying the soft liner. And then I really hope this time was very helpful and informative to your clinic. And then I, I want to call uh, Dr. Jo again to briefing the final results post of X-ray views, panoramic or CT view. Please show up the Dr. Joe. Okay. I'm back. Uh, I finished the surgery uh, as I planned. Uh, there was some un un unexpected situation, uh, but uh, generally, as I expected, uh, surgery learned well. Then I want to show you the uh, panoramic radiograph of this patient. Okay, this is POP, panoramic radiography. Uh, right side, I performed the minor bone graft only, only on uh, number six. So it is not clear, but maybe some bone is inside of the sinus. And uh, well, every time I, when I uh, finish the surgery, I cannot be satisfied. Uh, okay, you can see minor, uh, incorrect uh, pass or position. But maybe uh, I, I believe uh, Dr. Kim, he's an excellent prosthodontist. Uh, he can overcome my mistake. Okay. Uh, is this CT available? No, not yet? Okay. Uh, CT is not available yet. Uh, we can. Uh, I can post the uh, uh, post office CT view in our website, the Dental Bean. Please watch. Okay. Thank you very much. Then uh, Dr. Kim will continue the, the temporalization of the patient. Uh, okay, one, my, one of my audience said, uh, asked me, uh, I performed alveolar plasty at the left uh, maxillary tuberosity. Uh, it was uh, planned <laughs> before the operation. Dr. Kim found that the vertical space uh, was too less uh, okay, too because of thick soft tissue and uh, the maxillary tuberosity. So uh, he asked me, please perform alveolar plasty during the surgery. That's why I performed alveolar plasty. 
maybe it is <laughs> our <laughs> final <laughs> goal is <laughs> a restoration okay so uh, i'm a surgeon in the <laughs> past <laughs> i just uh, finished all, all work by myself for surgery and restoration but i found that the final result was not perfect uh, always something uh, insufficient uh, when i let <laughs> do restoration by uh, dr kim he's my partner uh, in same clinic uh, he has many ideas and uh, I, I, I learned many things about him from him uh, now I can satisfy about my result we are planning collaboration lecture in the future uh, my surgery and the Dr. Kim's restoration we are planning many nice cases uh, maybe in the future uh, I can deliver it uh, through the website or offline uh, site okay please expect please uh, wait and uh, expect our result Thank you. Yeah. City, okay. Our city is ready then. Okay, let's show you the city. Okay, this is right, uh, Mola site. Uh, um, six and seven. Seven I didn't grab it, uh, but one height looks not bad. Uh, number six looks well done. As you see, nice membrane elevation, including medial sinus wall. It's fantastic. And then bone graft looks sufficient, uh, although it is not important. Okay, next, premolar site. Uh, okay, right premolar site. Uh, um, sinus uh, slightly involved, but not a big uh, problem. And uh, even I tried the split, it was not uh, well done in reality. I want to perfect the splitting, but uh, not, not like that. Uh, the patient is very uh, dense bone. I didn't gave I didn't gave a vertical incision as a result. Uh, still, it was not sufficient. So I tried the trivial uh, again. Next. Okay, left premolar. Same situation. Same situation uh, after uh, splitting. Although uh, thread was not exposed, uh, the buccal bone wall thickens looks less than one millimeter. Then this is not good. Maybe patient will experience resorption. So I tried the GBL again. Next. Uh, left side, uh, I performed the uh, lateral approach, sinus bone augmentation. Well, this picture looks not uh, clean, uh, but maybe uh, several uh, time later, uh, less than one month, uh, we can see stable uh, bone distribution. And uh, only bone graft was planned uh, originally, but it was very minor, so I, I just uh, simply uh, placed the autogenous bone chip and directly closed. Okay, it was not uh, necessary to uh, perform a big GBL in the site. Okay, uh, we continuously report this case on uh, website. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, 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 this is a temporary RPD. This patient has been wearing this RPD for several months, and I already trim back inside the uh, dental base. And then you make sure this denture doesn't contact the implant site and bone grab site. And occlusion. Please close your mouth. Uh, uh, and Please give me retractor. I retractor not ready. Retractor, you go middle. And then it's good to evaluate the occlusion scheme. Okay, the occlusion state is the same as it was. And then, I and then I I will spread out the tissue conditioner inside this dental base. Now I'm mixing the powder and liquid together. And pop it on the side. Pop it on the side. 
빨빨빨돼요 오케이 좀더 more After mixing together, I am pouring this one inside the venture base. And this one is inserted in the patient's mouth. Uh, open your mouth. And press down. And and bite. And uh, check the occlusion. And then do the border molding. Please move the patient cheek up and down. And then wait about four or uh, two minutes. Uh, as I told you in my presentation, uh, when the initial stable tube implant is very poor, and then uh, like this case, when we performed a large amount of bone graft, it is good to deliver this kind of temporary denture after applying the soft liner. And then, again, please keep in mind this soft liner should be exchanged every two weeks to protect implant site and bone graft site. Please keep in mind. Ah, uh, there. Okay. And then you should remove this excessive soft liner. Some soft liner flow inside implant site. So you can see the projection here and then please remove this excessive excessive soft liner from the policy surface and then And then please prepare the knife. It is good to use the sharp blade to remove this excessive soft liner from the policy surface. I'm gonna take off my gloves, glove. like this Thank you. 
네. 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 And then play the blade with the fire. Like this is good to position the blade in a bevel direction to, remo to remove this excessive soft liner from the base. from the porous porous surface and uh, at this moment uh, i open news the pinset please give me the pinset 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 Open use the chloroform or the GP solvent. And please prepare the cotton pellet. And this is dipped into the chloroform or GP solvent. And then you sweep it, sweep out like this. Uh, this clinical method is, was introduced in the, the JPD articles. And if you use the chloroform or uh, GP solvent, uh, we can let this soft liner stick tight on the uh, polished surface and make it stay clean for a long time. So I'd like to apply this chloroform or GP solvent and then I will wash it with abundant water. To uh, sterilize, uh, for sterilization, I dip this temporary denture into the CHX solution. Okay, it's okay. As you can see, the excessive resin was removed thoroughly and it is, it is very clean. Uh, as you know, uh, for a certain, uh, after a certain period of time, uh, this uh, soft liner uh, is tended to be detached from the uh, free surface and then some kind of food debris is got stuck inside there. So I often apply this kind of solution uh, let uh, to let the soft liner stick tight on this polish surface and then make it cl uh, clean uh, for a long time. And I will insert the answer in the patient's mouth again. Okay, good. Now please close close mouth. 
and then check the occlusion. Bro, the ang 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 ta 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 ta. It's okay. A pupil, can you see? Can you see? It's okay. Ah, you see? Ang bro, ang ah ang bro, ah ang bro, ah ang ah. What was that? And uh, if necessary, you can adjust the occlusion a little bit. And then I want to uh, recommend again, please exchange this soap liner every two weeks. The hardened soap liner should be exchanged with new one to protect the implant site and bone graft site. We know where is the weakest area. Please bear in mind. And OK. Uh, we wanna, well, we really uh, hope this time was very helpful and informative to your clinic. It's okay? Okay. Okay, thank you so much for watching our uh, one year anniversary live surgery uh, with Dr. Joe. Uh, I'm very happy working with my brother, Dr. Joe. And uh, we will, uh, we we are planning to uh, give another live surgery in the near future. Please uh, contact uh, uh, with us every time. Thank you so much. <laughs>